Obama's White House photographer was in Columbia today as part of the School of Journalism and Mass Communications annual Buck Height Lecture. Carolina News reporter Grace McKenna sat down with that photographer today and got the story. Grace? That's right, guys. Pete Souza served as the chief White House photographer under President Obama and also photographed the president for four years before he took office. Earlier today, we got the chance to talk to him about that experience and what he's doing now. For eight years, where Barack Obama went, I said, oh, he's going to walk down here. Pete Souza went, too. I wanted to ride in, in, the, in the limousine with him in the motorcade. I just asked him directly so I didn't have to go through anybody else. Souza served as President Obama's chief White House photographer and as an official White House photographer for President Reagan. As chief photographer, he captured some of Obama's most important moments, from intimate to classified. To be in the room, uh, I, I had to have a top secret clearance. And I went through the same process that anybody else goes through to get that kind of a clearance. School of Journalism and Mass Communications Director Andrea Tanner helped bring Souza here to USC, and she hopes students can learn from his years of experience. Whether you're public relations, advertising, mass communications, broadcast, or journalism, you know, we are trying to teach all of our students to be great storytellers, and he is a great visual storyteller. But now that he's no longer serving in the White House, Souza is using his images in his upcoming book, Shade, to tell a different story. President Reagan and President Obama were uh, decent human beings uh, and respected the office of the presidency. And I'm not sure I feel that way about the current occupant. Still, Sousa's overall goal is a simple one. Try to make interesting pictures um, knowing that someday um, Somebody will be looking at all of them. Take pictures, make them authentic, and be an eyewitness to history. Souza also told us that during his time in the White House, he always tried to stay focused on his primary mission, creating a visual archive of history. Souza will give his lecture tonight at 7 p.m. at the Darla Moore School of Business in the W.W. Hooty Johnson Performance Hall. That event is free and open to the public. Live in the newsroom, Grace McKenna, Carolina News. Back to you in the studio.